The glory days of the textile mill baseball occurred in the 1930s. During the Depression, baseball games provided a diversion from harsh living conditions. Many fans attended the games. In August of 1934, a crowd of 3,000 watched the Chicks beat Ore Mill 11-5 to claim the Anderson County League Championship. Oh, oh man, it, it turned out they filled that stadium up every time we played. Some of the equipment the teams played with was very different from what we use today. They had Shikola rode across their, their chest. On the sleeve was a picture of a chick. And it was probably made of, of, uh, of cotton or in maybe a wool mixture. A real hot, real hot uniform. The shoes had, had steel cleats on the bottom of them, our medical ones. And when they would slide, first of all, that could, it could injure the player that was trying to tag you out. Another reason it could be, it could be dangerous to you is the cleat might hang on the base and make your foot turned the wrong way, therefore causing an ankle or leg injury. This is, a, this is one of the replicas of the old Shikola Chick baseball caps. And the baseball gloves today are, are probably three times longer than what the glove was. Uh, had no webbing, it was just four fingers and a thumb. The mill owners recruited players and paid them well to play baseball. They would go out and hire good baseball players to come and just almost make a job for them. The mill started checking around, finding players, and they'd, uh, they'd come there and want a job. Jobs was hard to get back in. They'd give these guys a different town and give them a job, a little old light job, messing around, toting water, or a little nothing, you know, to play ball on Wednesday. And they got more money than, than the mill workers. Back in the 40s, a skilled mill worker, they probably made uh, right at $12 a week. And I've been told by Mr. David Carr that some of these baseball players, when they came to town, they made $25 a week. They would go to Florida during spring training, and some of the players that were not going to make it in the majors, uh, the different mill companies went after them to come and play textile baseball from their, from their mill. All the mills hired several and give jobs in the mill. They had to work in the mill and, get, and play ball. You know. yeah. During the heyday, uh, when the ball players would hire and didn't work, uh, they, they'd check in you know, and, and go down there and lay down on bales of cotton and just pulled around to dinner time. Several players went professional, but also the game had an impact on their lives. Three or four of those players, after they had played with the Chicago Chicks, went on and played Major League Baseball. Teams like Red, the Boston Red Sox and the Cincinnati, uh, Cincinnati Reds, some of those teams, they played for them. Do you Playing baseball, I think, helped him realize that you had to work as a team you had to support one another. He was always concerned about other folks. He was always especially concerned about people who worked in the mills because he knew how hard it was and how limited it was as far as going to school and doing, doing things. So Phased out in the late 1950s, Shikola teens became more informal. Organized play was no longer sponsored by the mill. The war broke out and that's what scattered them. They didn't have to help. And they had to sell the house. Finally, they'd done away with the baseball. It was a team like playing uh, the Mount Bethel community, Kiwi community, uh, areas real in close to Honeypack. But the mill didn't sponsor that. It was just the pickup teams. After over 80 years, the once proud stadium where so many baseball battles were waged was torn down and a new softball field was built in its place. In the baseball, they gave us ballpark to the town and they put lights around it to have a softball team. It was quite a stadium in its day. However, uh, when it began to deteriorate and the wood began to rot, the decision was made that instead of fixing it, to tear it down. He said it cost too much insurance 
they were scared. Scared somebody was going to be in the hurt. It doesn't been there a hundred years. It was quite an accomplishment for a mill village to have a stadium like that, and it was a, it kind of a sad day when when they, when they tore it down. Where once the mill was a center of recreation, now the town-sponsored recreation department provides sporting opportunities for boys and girls. These players may one day reach great heights on the athletic fields of the future.